Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our kitchen. Yes, today we're making one of our favorites, our curry red lentil cauliflower slow cooker stew. <laughs> That's a mouthful yes. and it's a belly full. Yep. This recipe will last you two to three days and it tastes amazing. It's awesome if you have a busy evening coming up and you know yep. that first thing in the morning, we'll just throw everything into the crock pot, put it on low and slow and let it go. Yep, <laughs> you come home to a cooked meal and you didn't have to do anything that evening, ready to go. Yes, so as always, vegan, plant-based, nutrient dense and delicious. <laughs> Here we go. For this nutritious and delicious Indian red lentil slow cooker stew, you will need one large head of cauliflower broken into its individual florets, one large yellow sweet onion diced, one or two sweet potatoes diced, two cups of split red lentils, one and a half cups of chickpeas or one can rinsed, one cup of frozen or fresh green peas, two tablespoons of red curry paste, one tablespoon of minced ginger, and two garlic cloves chopped finely. And finally, you will need one large 28 ounce can of tomato puree. For the spices, you will need one teaspoon of ground turmeric, half teaspoon of ground coriander, half teaspoon of ground cumin, half teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom. From there, you can add salt and pepper to taste. So one of the spices you're gonna to want to include in this recipe is cardamom. You can find it ground a lot of times, or you can find these pods, and it's very similar to garlic in that you'll want to take the flat edge of your knife and crush the pods, and then inside you'll see all these individual little pieces of cardamom. So I'm gonna take my cardamom seeds and they're very, very solid and hard. So I'm gonna put them in my mortar and pestle and grind them until they're nice and crushed up. The slow cooker is super easy, like we said before. We love it. You put your lentils in first, and then basically just stack everything on top, put your liquid in, and let it go. Lentils go in first, because they're gonna soak up the most liquid, so you want those on the bottom. Sweet potatoes, cauliflower, onion, and then you can actually wait on the chickpeas and the peas because they're already cooked basically. So put your liquid in next. And then we fill this halfway with water and add that in too. Then you add in your curry paste, your ginger, garlic, and then your spices. Add a little salt and pepper to taste. You can start out, but go easy in the beginning. Always add more salt and pepper later if you need to. And then like we said, get it all mixed up turn it on and let it go. So you wanna put your slow cooker on high for four to five hours or low for seven to eight hours. It's basically up to you. Go the peas 
in the garbanzos. So if you guys wanna bump up your calories and your proteins, make this last a little bit longer, you can put it on a bed of brown rice or quinoa, and then it's awesome if you top it with some fresh cilantro. So here's the final product. This is our curried red lentil slow cooker stew. Can't wait to dig in. We just got done with a busy day. Got back home, got into our PJs, and dished up. It's time for stew and movies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give us a like, hit that subscribe button and join the Eat Move Rest family and make sure you've got that bell hit. That'll make sure that your notifications are turned on so you'll get notified whenever we put out new content here. And as always, leave us some love below. Let us know if you enjoyed this, if you wanna see more cooked recipes, more slow cookers, more hearty and nutritious and delicious plant-based meals. Until next time, Eat Move Rest, your best. Bye guys.